I would just like to uh, welcome you all to One Touch uh, Ministries, a second all home uh, where the uh, overseeing uh, and uh, leadership is over Pastor Shannon E. Young and Prophetess Nia Deidre Young. Um, and the leading minister is myself, Minister Henry Jackson, and I would like to welcome you uh, on this evening. Um, as I'm go going to go through the order order of service, we no no I have some few people who's going to read uh, from the uh, scriptures to help me out. Um, so you know, we're going going to uh, get get an old testament scripture from uh, you know, my uh, grandmother uh, Miss uh, Miss Barbara Jackson. Okay, we're going to Psalm ninety. Mm hmm. Uh, verse ten. Okay. The day of your, your years are three scores and ten, and give back reason of strength. They may be four score years, yet this is strong and labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and will fly away. We, we know the power of thy anger, even according to the fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may supply our heart with the upon wisdom. Remember, O oh Lord, how long, and to let it repent, be according to thy servant. Okay, and then, then you get, no, you found the uh, New Testament scripture? Yeah, New Testament scripture, okay. which one you want? Uh, yeah, whichever one. Okay. Therefore, whosoever hears the saying of that and do them, I will like him unto a wise man, which built his house up on a rock. And that the rain descended and the flood came. The wind blow and it beat up thy house, and it fell not, for it was foundation upon a rock. And everyone that hears these words of man and does not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blow and beat up the house, and it fell. And greater was the fall of, of it. And it came to pass when Jesus had it ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. But he taught them as one having authority and not of the strip of the strife. Okay, so that that was uh, Sister uh, Barbara Jackson who was reading the old and new testament scripture. Um now I'm going to uh, go on to prayer. Uh, for the afflictions that you have buried 
that you have truth on the front of the cross, that you have gave her deliverance, you gave her healing, that you gave her everything that she needs inside of her life. And Father, I just pray over her that, that from this day forward, that, that you shall be the person savior of her life, you shall be the redeemer of her life, you shall be her healer, her doctor, her nurse, and her a physician. If any issue brings the problem that comes in her life, that I speak against it now in the name of Jesus, that I speak coming upon her body in the name of Jesus, so that her body shall be aligned up as such, and everything shall be in working order. And the Lord, in the name of Jesus, shall I pray also uh, for for uh, everyone that is in the tenants tonight, Heavenly Father, that we all do come on one accord. Uh, that we do come in love and unity and a fellowship. That we do begin to go out into one another. That we do begin to minister to one another. How are your grace? And the word for me, Jesus. Amen. Do praise and worship, and then I'm gonna go on uh, with, with with the sermon. Um, uh, the uh, only song that come to mind is um, I finna say no, nah, I don't know know the whole song, but um, <laughs> carry on. Uh, it's today by day. It, 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 now I'm trying to sing that song. I, I, never mind. I, I was going to sing a, uh, another one. Somebody here who loves my Jesus. Everybody's here who loves my Lord. I want to know who loves my Jesus. I want to know who loves the Lord. I want to know who loves my Jesus. I want to know who loves my Lord. I want to know who loves my Jesus. I want to know who loves my Lord. Can I say one? Yeah. Yeah. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you all the way. All the way. He's a mighty good leader. He's a mighty good leader. He's a mighty good leader. All the way, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. He led my mother. He led my father, he led my sisters and brother too. All the way from earth to heaven, let Jesus lead you all the way. Thank, thank you for singing with me. For praise and worship, um, no, I'm going going to start my sermon. Um, say in a quick second here. Um, if you do have your Bibles with you, then 
Can you please get, uh, get up, go with me to John chapter 13? And I'm going to read verse 1 through 17. Um, mm -hmm. John chapter 13, 1 through 17. Okay. And, and it reads here in my voice translation, it reads, before the, the Passover festival began, it says, Jesus was keenly aware that his hour had come to depart from this world and to return to the Father. From beginning to end, Jesus' days were marked by his love for his people. Before Jesus and his disciples gathered for dinner, the adversary filled Judas' heart with plans of deceit and betrayal. Jesus, knowing that he had come from God and was going away to God, stood up from dinner and removed his outer garments. Then he, he then wrapped himself in a towel, poured water in a basket, and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his towel. Simon as uh, spoke to Jesus and said, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus responded, Peter, you didn't realize what I am doing, but you will understand later. Peter responded that you, you will not wash my feet, nor or ever. Jesus responded by saying, if I don't wash you, you, you will have nothing to do with me. Then Peter responded and said, Then wash me, but don't stop with my feet. Cleanse my hands and head as well. So Jesus said, Listen, anyone who has bathed and cleansed all over except for the feet, but I tell you this, not all of you are clean. So he knew the one with plans of betraying him, which is why he said not all of you are clean. Verse 12 reads that after washing their feet and picking up his garments, he, he reclined it at, at, at the table again. Uh, so Jesus asked the question, that, do you understand what I have done to you? So you call me teacher and Lord, and truly this is who I am. So if your Lord and teacher washes your feet, then you should watch one another's feet. For I am your example. Keep doing what I do. I, I tell you the truth. A servant is not greater than the master. Those who are sent are not greater than the one who sends them. So if you know these things and you put them into practice, you will find happiness. That I had, uh, that I had just read you John 13, 1 through 17. Um, and I just wanted to give a little uh, sermon here about, about, uh, yeah, about today's sermon. It is, uh, interesting, you know, how Jesus looks at, uh, our, our hair, our hair being nappy or, or our face not being washed or our, yeah. uh, clothes not being ironed or our, uh, 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 did I say hair not not being uh, uh combed? Okay. Uh, when we when we do come to Christ, say all all messed up and and, and or should I say all out of order, or else that yeah we just didn't may not have time to put ourselves together or we may not uh uh have have the things that we need to be able to 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 get our life situated with, um. It, it 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 is amazing that the Lord take those times to where to actually look at Him uh, using those times when when we're broken and when we're uh, 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 less uh, put together. He used those times where to bring us together in unity because He sees a, a opportunity. On us, uh, 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 on on us being clean, on us having the things that we need, for us having 
uh, 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 those things that we wish we had, that he's there to provide for us the things that we didn't have. And so uh, within the scripture, we see Jesus sitting at the table with his disciples and he's preparing to wash their feet. And 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 mostly as you, as most people have told the story time again that Peter refused Jesus from washing his feet is because of the fact that Jesus was his master and so he he couldn't fathom within his mind how could his leader uh, uh wash his feet or should I say have more of a lower position to to do something that that's beneath his position so Jesus was referring to him to let him know, know that if I did not wash your feet, then you can't say that you're a part of me. Which is in other words, uh, uh, as Jesus being our leader, as Jesus being our our Lord, a personal Savior, it, uh, just because he, he is our leader and Savior, it, it is his responsibility to wash our feet. Because the, the, the feet is a symbolization of his grace. So the, the washing of the feet is a representation of him washing uh, our most prized possession or our most embarrassing moments. And, and so there, there are things that we wish that we can keep behind closed doors. So there are things that we have done that we wish that we couldn't that we didn't have to bring to the altar, or there are uh, uh, things in our life that we wish we could take back. But, but however, that the Lord loved using those situations but to draw us closer to Him. And so, um, on this evening, um, now I was going, uh, now I had prepared a, um, I wanted to say, some some uh, water uh which uh wash my uh which uh wash my mom's feet with so then uh so uh no I just like uh want to say that uh that oh if you uh notice that I I am wearing the uh color red which actually symbolizes the the blood of Jesus Christ and it uh, is a symbol of him going to the cross and him bearing the nails that he took for me. And so that I could receive my healing and my deliverance and my uh, freedom. So so all the things that uh, that he has taken on for me that I, you know, that, that I wear the red to symbolize his, 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 his work at the cross that he died for me. And so uh, as, as the, the sermon before, Jesus was going there. He was washing his servant's feet, um, because he had wanted to bring fellowship to them, um, and so he wanted them to understand that 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 fellowship is about washing the dirty parts of us, and so then that we we could get cleansed. For the feet uh, represents the our pathway that we're walking in life. Um, so uh, whether that that be if we're walking to something good. Or to something evil, or to something, you know, that we don't got no business walking. But the the cleansing of the feet represents, you know, that uh, represents righteousness. And so, yeah, yeah. And so, so I'm gonna watch her feet, um, right there, so I can.
I'm going to read to you the uh, benediction here as we are uh, on our way of closing out. Um, and we're going to read from Numbers 6, 24 through 26. And I am reading uh, from another translation. This is a message translation here. Number six twenty four through twenty six. <laughs> Your daughter called you. Yeah, she went all back down through the kitchen somewhere. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it reads. Yeah, it reads here. Uh, may God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God gift you, and may God look you full in the face and make you prosper. 